Yo, what's going on, guys? It's JMass back again with another dope New England adventure. So I'm actually going for a hike right now. Uh, as you can see behind me, huge trail I got to go up. I'm actually up in Vermont right now in the small town of Dorset, Vermont, just right outside of Manchester. So I've been hiking for a little bit, and I'm just trying to find a place to stay, you know, just, you know, lie down for a couple hours, maybe take a nap. I just don't know where to go. Oh, actually, right over there. I, I just saw something. This might be a good little shelter for me to take a quick break at. Uh, you know, I've been hiking for a bit up here in Dorset, Vermont. I could use a little break. Um, okay, something's kind of off about this shelter. What, what do you guys think? I don't know if I could stay here. So obviously, as you can see, got a huge destroyed abandoned shed right here. Uh, now, if you're wondering exactly where I'm going, I'm actually going to a place called Freedly Quarry. Now, Freedly Quarry is an abandoned marble quarry up here in Dorset. Now, the crazy thing about it is it's not like your average quarry. You know, I've been to quite a few quarries in my time. The thing with Freedly Quarry is that it's actually, like, the quarry itself is actually in the middle of a mountain, like the slope of a mountain. While most quarries are a huge pit surrounded by rocks, Freedly Quarry goes into the eastern slope of a mountain. It's going to be really cool to see. I've heard a lot of cool things about it. Apparently, there's a massive cave we can go inside. I'll give you a little bit more history about um, Freedly Quarry in a few minutes, but I just wanted to show you guys this area because I found some cool abandoned stuff while I was hiking. So obviously, we got that uh, abandoned shed right there, which I'm not sure where that's from or who made it. But up here, if I can just make my way up, I also saw what looks like an abandoned truck or some sort of vehicle. I couldn't tell from the trail. Yeah, right here. It's very precarious. Hmm. Huh. I don't know what this is. Obviously a vehicle. I just don't, I can't tell what it was. I don't know if it was a tractor, a truck, just an average car, but it is super rusted away. I mean, this thing has definitely seen better days. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Of course, the shed. I'm gonna keep making my way up to Freedly Quarry, and as I do, I will give you guys a little bit of the history about it, and then we'll check it out. I'm very excited. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about Freedly Quarry and the history of the mining industry here in Dorset, Vermont. So back in 1785, um, marble mining actually became pretty popular here, and uh, the mining industry became a massive aspect of Dorset's economy. Um, Friedley Quarry itself, though, that was actually founded in 1875. So about 100 years later, um, Friedley Quarry was set up on the eastern slope of Mount Aeolus here in Dorset. Now, the thing was, as I mentioned, while most quarries, you know, are pits in the ground, um, Freedly Quarry was in the eastern slope of Mount Aeolus. So they actually dug into the side of a mountain, which today creates big caverns you can actually walk into. It's going to be really dope, and I'm excited. Um, so obviously they mined for marble mainly. Marble was the main draw. Now the thing that's cool about that is that Dorset marble was actually really popular and was used in many, many major cities across the U.S., like New York City, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, Boston. Uh, Dorset marble was in high demand. Uh, it wasn't until the 1920s, though, that I believe the uh, marble mining industry up here actually began to slow down and uh, peter off. And uh, today, you know, we mostly use cement, um, you know, other kinds of uh, building materials. But back then, Dorset marble was the way to go. And uh, we're going to be checking out a piece of that cool history Freedly Quarry up here on the eastern slope of Mount Aeolus in Dorset, Vermont, uh, from 1875 to about the uh, early to mid 1900s. So, guys, I am finally up top here, uh, right by Freedly Quarry. But before I go inside, I just wanted to show you guys this absolutely stunning natural vista that's over here. I haven't actually looked over yet, but as I was making my way, I saw these mountains. I'm like, damn, that looks beautiful. So these are obviously the Green Mountains of Vermont right here. I don't know the mountains' names, but absolutely gorgeous. 
the Green Mountains. Guys, take a look at this. This is one of the absolute coolest places I've ever been. Not even joking. So I just did a bit of walking around inside the cave, you know, just getting a feel for things before I start filming. And my God, this is so cool. This is like a breathtaking, unique place. Uh, so this is obviously Friedley Quarry. And as I mentioned to you, the difference about this quarry compared to others is that instead of digging downwards, they dug sideways. They dug into the eastern slope of this mountain right here. And now it leaves behind these massive caves. So these are man-made caves, obviously, not natural, but still really cool to see. Uh, before we enter, I just want to show you this huge pile of rubble over here. Kind of interesting. And also take note of this huge marble cliff face. I mean, I'm not sure if that's marble, but I assume it is because this was a marble mine. So let's make our way over. Really cool. As you can see, there's this giant pillar type thing right here. A huge, uh, you know, stone column. Uh, there is a lot of graffiti here, which actually kind of sucks. Normally, I'm either indifferent to graffiti or it can actually be cool. Honestly, not a fan of the graffiti here. Kind of takes away from the beauty of this place. But this is absolutely breathtaking, as you can see. It is huge. So I'm going to turn my flashlight on and uh, take you guys for a little tour through, Fleet, through uh, Friedley Quarry in Dorset, Vermont. So over here is the infamous underground pond of Friedley Quarry. So if you don't know, one thing that's kind of cool about this place is that during the winter time, this pond right here actually freezes over. So this whole pond right here freezes and a lot of people actually come here to go ice skating which is really cool to me. You know, the idea of underground ice skating. That's cool. But obviously right now it's summertime, so you got this huge vat of water completely underground in a mountain. It's, it's surreal. Now, uh, before we go over there, I'm just gonna take a little trip over here because I'm kind of curious. I saw another I think a little cave over here I'd want to check out. Again, I can't express how big this is, you know, especially in person. This is a huge, huge location. I don't know if this video will really do it justice how big this place is, but it is monumental. I might get my tripod set up in a little bit to show you guys. It's also quite rocky. So if you come here, definitely watch your step. But to think that this is all man-made, you know, like people dug this out for marble. It, it does kind of look natural in a weird way. You know what I mean? <clears throat> oh yeah, I got more cave over here. So that's the outside right there. And I believe if we go over here, we'll be overlooking the uh, little pond. Yeah, we will. That's cool. I don't think the pond has a name, but yeah, guys, check this out. Also, I have a tiny ass flashlight on my phone. So sorry in advance if the uh, video quality isn't the best. I don't think the light is gonna be illuminating this whole cave, so hopefully you guys can get a clear video of what it's like here. Uh, but sorry if it is a little grainy because of the darkness. Got more over here. Yeah, this place is huge. The hike up wasn't too bad. I think it's uh, a mile and a quarter of a hike, you know, 1.25 miles. Wasn't too bad. Um, they actually do allow vehicles up here, but like ATVs and Jeeps and only in the summertime. So, you know, you could take a Jeep or an ATV up here, but I just hiked up. Um, wow, this is crazy. <laughs> 
So right here, we actually got a small little cave, as you can see. Not that big. This one just kind of goes into the rock. It's still really cool. Also, another little pond right here. And of course, a car seat. Can't forget that. If you want to take a little rest on your way up here, nice little seat for you right here. Yeah, this is really cool. So uh, one of the reasons I came here was obviously I thought it looked dope as fuck. And I've been to quite a few quarries and I find abandoned quarries really interesting. Uh, fun fact, there's actually one not far from my house that I go to quite a bit. Uh, especially when I was in high school, I went there a lot. And that kind of, you know, gave me a love for these kind of abandoned quarries. So this one's really interesting. But uh, the real reason I came here was because I've sort of been getting into caving videos lately. <laughs> so I've never gone like caving before, but you know, I've been watching some stuff about it. It looks really cool. You know, I have been inside caves before, um, but I've never gone like truly caving, you know? And in a way, you know, squeezing your body through these tight little spaces, you know, barely fitting, that kind of freaks me out. <laughs> I guess I'm sort of claustrophobic in a way. Um, but this is really cool because this is huge. So, you know, you don't need to do any of that, like, tight fitting or, you know, any sketchy footing. This is actually huge. You can literally just walk in and you have this massive cave just ready for you. So that's sort of what brought me here. I thought that was a really cool beginner's type caving experience, if you know what I mean. But I will admit, I have a bit of an irrational fear that this ceiling is just gonna cave in at any moment. <laughs> I doubt it will, but it's actually kind of creepy having a, a, you know, a massive mountain hovering above your head. <clears throat> so uh, once again, we're back to the front where we started. Uh, I wanna go over there now, see what's over there. Looks like there's some cool stuff. As you'll notice, there's also another chair for you. If you guys wanna take a seat, Got a chair waiting for you right at the entrance. <laughs> I wonder who the fuck brings this stuff here. That's really bizarre. Pretty cool. So one thing I want to show you guys is there's this weird, like, square foundation. Like, it's really out of place. But if you peer inside, just rocks and water. I kind of wonder why, because, you know, this whole cave could pass off as a natural cave, but then you have this random geometrically square quarry. It's bizarre. I don't know what the purpose of this was, but pretty cool. Another thing you'll probably notice about this place is that it's actually quite peaceful and quiet inside. Now, uh, there's two other people here with me right now, but... Other than that, it's really serene here in a way. Like, I could actually find myself just chilling here for a while. It's really just quiet, serene. It's actually a pretty relaxing spot. And it's like, yeah, my voice is amplified, but it's not like a massive echo. It's not like every little noise makes such a huge commotion. It is a genuinely very serene little cave. Wow. I don't know. This is just very breathtaking to me. This was one of the absolute coolest places I've been in New England. And I didn't even know about this until yesterday. <laughs> so I'm blown away by this place. Wow, look at this over here. Oh shit, this actually goes up here. I'm gonna make my way over and I'll show you in a second. Guys, look at this. This is really fucking cool. Basically got this uh, hole right here. You know, the square hole that just kind of goes down all this mined quarry or mined marble. And then you just get to this little pond and 
this mossy little area. It's just so cool. I like this a lot. It's also cool to see just how much moss there is. Like, this whole slope is covered in moss. I'm assuming because it gets so much moisture and uh, water dropping. There's actually quite a lot of water dropping in this place. Very, very cool. So my phone is actually very low in battery, which is kind of a shame. Uh, I'm going to get that charged and yeah, let's explore the rest of this cave. This is pretty dope, guys. I really like this. As we make our way deeper into Friedley Quarry, I find that it's getting even darker and even colder. <laughs> so this seems to be the darkest part of the quarry over here. And uh, looks like it leads right to that pond again. Wow. As I said, it's very quiet and serene here. Really, really cool. This is one of those things you guys really, you, you really have to check out for yourself. Uh, definitely come here, Friedley Quarry in Dorset, Vermont. This is absolutely worth it. I, I can't even, the video doesn't do it justice. This is a really cool spot. And sorry if it seems like I'm running out of commentary. <laughs> I'm just really like amazed by this place. Uh, one thing, I did mention this briefly, but it's actually quite cool in here. So outside, you know, in the, uh, you know, in the woods where I was walking, it's probably, I don't know, 75, maybe 80. It's actually pretty hot out. I was sweating quite a bit. But it's actually really cool in here, like in the low 60s. It's actually a nice break from the summer heat. So I can only imagine how cold it must get in here in the wintertime when people go ice skating. But wow, guys, this is just, this is phenomenal. The other thing that this makes me think about is, as I said, you know, this specific quarry opened up in 1875 uh, and was you know, in use to about the uh, mid 20th century. Obviously, they didn't have the type of equipment we have today, you know. But if you go, bre if you go back even further to when marble mining, you know, was really dominating the uh, town of Dorset in 1785, you can only imagine what kind of equipment they had. I mean, they probably had people literally just armed with pickaxes. And by what, the late 1800s, they probably had just really, um, you know, really, um, what's the word? <laughs> Can't think of the word right now, but basically dynamite and like C4, that kind of thing that's really juvenile, you know, not to the standards we have today. So it's just kind of cool to think about a huge place like this being mined with worse equipment than we have today, you know. I mean, now, like, quarries can pretty much be automated with huge machines, you know, um, bore machines, huge diggers. They didn't have that back then, yet they created this. It's really cool, and it's pretty crazy. But I'm also sure it was really dangerous. Absolutely wild. Guys, I think that's pretty much it for uh, Friedley Quarry here in Dorset. Uh, the video's not over yet. I'm going to take a look around the property, see if there's anything else interesting we can check out. But as for the, you know, cave itself, the interior of this quarry, I think we've pretty much seen it all, and it is really cool to see. Again, video alone can't express how dope this place is. you got to come here for yourself. Um, really cool. And the hike was fun, too, honestly. Like, if you want to just hike here, it was a nice little hike. You know, a mile and a quarter, not bad at all. Took me, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. Probably, I'm probably over-exaggerating. But yeah, really cool place. I like this a lot. Uh, J-Mass approved. <laughs> yeah, one of the coolest places I've been to in New England. And I literally didn't know it existed until yesterday. I was doing research on places to go in Vermont. This popped up, and uh, the rest is history. 
Uh, I really like this. This is cool. Um, so in a second, I'm going to go out, check out the rest of the property, see if I find anything else. If not, I'll end the video, but just want to show you guys one more time this crazy, crazy cave and also give you a scale of, you know, how big it is compared to me. Um, actually, I might set up my tripod in a second to show you. Really cool place. Yo, guys, uh, real quick, I just want to show you how big this cave is. Uh, so as you can see, this is me right here. And I just want to show you how big this is. I don't know if you can hear me from here, but this is pretty big. This is Friedley Quarry compared to myself. Yeah, pretty cool. As you can see, Friedley Quarry is huge. Um, again, the video probably didn't do it justice, but this is a huge place. Really cool to check out, guys. Um, yeah, definitely come here. Yo, guys. So um, if you remember that huge pile of rubble that was outside of Friedley Quarry, you know, the one I showed you guys, it was a huge slope of rocks. I'm actually climbing up that right now just because I wanted to see if there's anything on top, you know, whether like a really nice view or just uh, anything like that. So that's what I'm doing right now. It is very precarious. There are a lot of loose stones, so I'm trying to be really careful. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be filming while I'm doing this, as you can see right here. That's Friedley Quarry over there. Um, trying to see if there's anything of note up here. Uh, let's see. Doesn't really look like it, it just looks like more uh, loose rocks. Here, I'll turn the camera over in a second and show you guys. Doesn't look like there's too much up here, but I just wanted to check, you know, why not? Yeah, guys, doesn't really look like there's much up here. It's literally just a pile of rocks. <laughs> there is a cool mountain view over there, but yeah, literally just a slope of rubble. But I just wanted to come up and see if there's anything. I actually thought there'd be a nice view at least, but eh, oh well. Heading down, that's going to be the sketchy part. <laughs> I will catch you guys on the other side. Just wanted to see. Hey, thank you guys for joining me on yet another dope New England adventure. And honestly, this was one of the absolute coolest places I've been to in New England. Uh, it was fantastic. Um, Friedley Quarry up in Dorset, Vermont. What a unique place. I mean, this is so different from other quarries. It was dug into the side of Mount Aeolus here in Dorset uh, instead of a traditional, you know, down in the ground quarry. I mean, this thing is a really important historic piece of Vermont history especially for the mining industry. Uh, Dorset marble was highly coveted across the East Coast. Um, but it was also just really fun to explore, you know. It was really cool checking out a huge cave. I haven't been in a place like that in ages, so it was fun to check out. Um, definitely go see it if you're ever in, um, you know, Western Vermont. But uh, guys, I've been J-Mass as always. Thanks for joining me on yet another New England adventure, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Just a friendly reminder, I do have a brand new Instagram account. If you guys ever want to follow me, it's jmassofficial. So jmassofficial on Instagram, I'm going to be posting video updates, you know, the type of stuff I'm doing, I'm traveling. Uh, definitely check it out. Anyways, I will catch you guys next time. Follow me at jmassofficial. See you later.